I used to always write about 1992 when a Soto saint stormed through the church uninvited and slammed his hand down on the pulpit at poet Donald Wood's funeral, shouting Donald Woods was a proud black gay man who did not die of heart failure. He died of AIDS. If you agree with me, stand up. To everyone's shock, a lot of us, including me, did stand up when it was common for families to hide the cause of death of young men who died from AIDS if they were even buried at all and weren't abandoned. Sometimes black men who were spiritual gave last rites to dying men to say that we were all God's children. Someone told me about a thin boy, thin with fear and death played the piano for the choir. No one touched him or talked about it. I know in my mother's family, her mother's sister said a parasite had killed her son when he died suddenly. But I remember once seeing him coming out of a gay bar in Boston, and all the white boys said, how do you know her? And I don't know if it was he or I who said, cousin. I am his cousin, I said. And then he made me promise not to tell anyone in the family that I'd seen him there. So when they said parasite, I knew something didn't ring true. His mother, a seemingly healthy woman, died shortly after that. But I always felt their deaths were related. His mother, either from the lies or the repression or a broken heart, having lost her young son. As an aside, I know everyone blames Jesse Smollett for his lies and staged attack. But it makes me think there was something very toxic going on, that he didn't feel he could talk to someone, either that or he was covering up an addiction or a hookup. But nonetheless, Asato standing up at Donald's funeral and telling the truth goes down in history as one of the bravest moments I'd ever witnessed. Either that or Audre Lorde spreading open the arms of her dashiki, the bravest woman that we'd all witnessed, telling a crowded room of followers, I began on this journey as a coward. That or seeing a friend at the height of the AIDS era at a bar covered in purple welts refusing to hide, going out in public. That or Donald Woods being feeble, barely able to walk, accepting an award as director of AIDS films or an ex-lover on a beach taking off her top and refusing to hide her mastectomy scar. Or when Denitra Vance performed at the public theater and danced naked, revealing her mastectomy scars and Audrey Lorde refusing to wear a prosthesis. When Zach Mokai, the black actor from Atoll Fugard's play, Master Harold and the Boys, the first piece of theater I ever saw, a Broadway play that a cousin took me to, said to his white master, have you ever seen a black man's ass? And he pulled down his pants and revealed himself to the audience. I was 16 years old, or that, or seeing my mother beaten religiously and still going out to work as if it hadn't happened at all, or even me surviving so many tests, incredible tests, once when I was doubting my strength to a doctor and he looked at me incredulously and said, you are strong. Another who looked at me and he saw my suffering and he asked, isn't there anyone there for you? And another said, you deserve to be taken care of. Today, once more, I am nursing my broken heart caused by someone who betrayed and was not honest. That in attending an event and asking white people to give up their seats to blacks who couldn't sit down and seeing social justice in action. Yes, I often think of Asado for the important place he resides in my history. But today I am examining his tactics, pulling the tools off the shelf, dusting off the weaponry in an exhibit, because today I need to use what he taught me. Today I feel that puff of rage, that continuous assault, and I want to stand up and I want to testify, though I haven't been asked. I want to interrupt, I want to disrupt all the proceedings. I see all the places black lesbians have been erased and silenced, like looking down at a manuscript and seeing that they asked a young white woman to write about black queer history when it's been my area of expertise forever or only attributing 80s and 90s AIDS activism to ACT UP 
And I want to point, uh, and I want the point of outrage now not to only be the historicizing of AIDS, but the fact that women and black lesbians have been erased from the dialogue when there were so many organizations like GMAD, other countries, Adoti, Men of All Colors Together, Salsa Soul, Las Buenas Amigas, and more, or asking where are all the black lesbians on the first season of Pose, because certainly we were there on the piers and part of that history. And why are white men constantly at the helm to tell our stories? And why don't white queers recognize this? That, and seeing a panel after panel being organized on history and art and all things important to the world and no one thinking or noticing it might be important to have a black lesbian present just like some people are kicking Storm May out of the storm, Stonewall narrative. And what about those people who weren't on the streets but in jobs fighting the system, the dykes and the queers and the trans people, meeting each other and forming community and connections and family and love, just like in South Africa where they prevented intermingling, but ways were found. And each time we touched or loved or found each other in darkness and light, it was resistance. Every time we told each other, you're beautiful, you're not wrong it was resistance when we stood up to parents and the families and the courts that shunned us it was resistance when we wore what we really wanted to wear it was resistance when we yelled at the doctors and the drug professionals it was resistance and let's be clear every war is fought on our bodies, and every time we write and we read poems, it is resistance. And every time some queer kid stays alive because they saw us, and they read us, and they discovered the archive, we have won! And one day! One day! One day! and the sexual orientation wars are over in America, there will be a new generation just like in South Africa called the Born Free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go out there and fight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Go out there and fight. We got to keep fighting. We're at Reclaim Pride on Sunday on the Great Lawn. Come on out. Thank you.